Hi, you guys. Welcome to the Bed In Podcast. I'm Daniel. And I'm Elena. Uh, where we talk about your favorite movies and movies that you may have never seen. And uh, we always advise you guys to watch the movies before coming here. Uh, but it's your choice. If you guys don't want to, it's okay. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, we have here the Percy Jackson movie. It's the second movie called The Sea of Monsters. Okay. Now, we did uh, the first one, which was the Olympus uh, uh, Lightning Bolt the Thief. Light, yeah, the Lightning yeah, Bolt. Yeah, because it's like Percy Jackson and the Olympians or something like that. Oh, or yeah, the, the Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know why the first one had such a long title, to be honest. Because, yeah. like, it was way too unnecessary, you know? Like, they could have just called it Percy Jackson rather than Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah, let's get right into this. Uh, so, typically what we do is we talk about the characters a little bit. We talk about different scenes and stuff. Um, so, I, I can't even lie. We're just going to be straight up honest with you guys. We watched this one, like... Oh, God. At least five days ago or something like that. Yeah, definitely like a week ago. And we we watched uh, another movie in which we will have a video for um, that's better in our memory. So we're going to do the best we can uh, for memorizing. We're just going to be talking about, like, really just the, uh, the, the scenes that really spoke to us, right? Yeah. So, um, th- we're just going to go in the order of what the cast is on here. So, Annabeth, which is the Mrs. Woman who's pretty much Percy's lover, you know, they pretty yeah. much, like, they're not, they're not together, but they're together. I don't know. They're just, like, really, really, really good friends. But, like, they don't make, they, they don't, you know, interact in any weird way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, Annabeth is, like... She's really mean to Tyson, okay, which is the uh, the Cyclops. She's, like, very rude to him throughout this movie, and uh, I don't know. Is there something you wanted to explain before we get, like, too deep into the characters? I don't know. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. All right. I know why she doesn't like Tyson, but... Do you know why? Or just because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The re- do you want to explain that? Yes. So the reason Annabeth is not fond of Percy Jackson's half- step bro yeah. or half bro, whatever he is, <laughs> Tyson, <laughs> yeah. is because a Cyclops is what killed Annabeth's friend Talia. Yo. Like years ago when she died, so. Yeah, so Annabeth has this, like, grudge against Tyson throughout this movie. And it's really uncomfortable to watch because, like, you start to hate Annabeth because of how judgmental she is. And then once she tells you, like, why, it makes you feel, honestly, not even better. It makes you still hate her. Because, <laughs> yeah. to be honest, like, it, it's like, uh, how do I compare this? It's like a dog, okay? It's like a dog freaking attacking... Okay, how do I explain this? It's like a dog attacking my friend, okay? Let's just say my dog attacks my friend. And just tears him up real bad, okay? Does that mean that I should hate all dogs? No. It's just, there was a bad one, you know what I'm saying? This is so funny, because it's like, it's pretty much like everything with the media right now. Oh, yeah, literally, yeah. And it's unfortunate because, like, sure, there's always one bad one. and There's always, like, there's a saying. I just don't remember what it is. There's a a bad apple on the bunch or something like that. Yeah. And, like, the thing is, is, like, Tyson's not a bad apple just because he's an orc. An orc? Oh, my God, an (laughs) orc? Well, I don't know. Orcs and, like, cyclopses are pretty similar. You know what I'm saying? It's like dogs and hyenas. Yeah. They're pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like a cat and a tiger, I guess. Yeah, exactly. But, no, uh, I just feel bad for Tyson throughout this movie because, like, she's a cunt. I'm, pretty, I'm just being straight up, man. I, I, was, I was feeling a little weirdy about her in the first movie, okay? And then she comes around with this 
bullshit in the second one, and I ain't having it, man. It's not cool. She does lighten up towards the end, though, so it's okay. Yes, she does, like, essentially forgive him, even though, like, it's not even a forgiving thing. It's more or less just, like, an acceptance thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, once you, like, have been dissing on this person for so long, uh, and then all of a sudden you're just like, well, I guess because you saved us, um, that you're, that I can accept you. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I wouldn't expect somebody... I wouldn't personally like somebody if they just, like, spit this diss track on me for, like, I don't know, three or four days of knowing them, and all of a sudden, you know, the fifth day, I do something that saves, you know, my friend, but it's also her friend, and I kind of save her as well. That all of a sudden she, for some reason, is okay with me now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd be like, dude, com to be completely honest, like, you should have known I was a good guy in the beginning. Like, I had no reason to make you, other than my appearance, you know? And yeah. that's horrible, man. That's horrible. She is literally the most, like, I don't know. She, she could be one of those characters that you could, like, pretty much compare it to real life and be like I don't know like we know people like her you know what I'm saying that doesn't like certain groups of people and it's horrible that people are like that yeah but I it's just how people live I guess and maybe how they're born and raised and uh you know maybe maybe I don't know man it, it, there's no reason to hate a certain group of people because one th there was one bad apple you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's exactly what happened in this. Man, we talked about this one for yes. a while. I am right. so sorry. So, running away from <laughs> Annabeth. Yeah, thank um, gosh. Let's run. Uh, talking about Percy Jackson, there's nothing really to talk about. He's still the, the fighter. Like, nothing else to say here. I mean, like, to be honest, uh, for, be like, in the beginning... I don't, I don't remember which lady it was, because there's, the, they, I, the thing is, is, they have pictures, right, of the characters, right, but they don't have the, like, the pictures of them, of what they look like in the movie. Who are you talking about? It's Clarice. It's Clarice? Oh. Okay, well, you're right, you're right. Okay, I wasn't too sure, but I just don't know why, maybe Tyla actually did die, because- Talia. Talia. Maybe th maybe she actually like did die because they only have a picture of her like like this. Th why it's is there two it's Talias? Two different actors. Because oh. in the beginning they showed her dying and then they showed her coming back to life. That's really interesting, huh? That that's that that is cool. That is cool. All right. Well, that was confusing to me, but anyways, I honestly thought that like Percy was gonna fall for Clarice because she was playing that bad girl and I was like dude like especially in the beginning yeah. and I thought Annabeth was gonna be like jealous or something like that and I was like dude this whole movie's gonna be a drama fight between Annabeth and Clarice <laughs> and it ended up like not being that way at all like Clarice was in the beginning goes on her journey disappears forever and then eventually they end up in the sea of monsters stomach yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Clarice is back, and you're like, where was she for so long? Yeah. <laughs> you forget about her, and then all of a sudden, she, like, shows up. I mean, it was a good idea. I think it was, like... By the way, I just gotta say, the colors of, like, the inside of that thing's stomach was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful scene. Like, there were so many scenes in that movie that they did so well as far as, like, colors and stuff like that yeah. to just make it so vibrant and, like, I don't know. I just, I know we were supposed to be talking about Percy right now, but I just got to say, I really like the colors in that movie. It was beautiful. <laughs> right. So, uh, <laughs> back to Percy. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, in the... Be I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I just had something. I, also, in the beginning, it made him seem like, you know, he didn't know how to fight anymore. He couldn't 
do nothing anymore and stuff along those lines because mm -hmm. Clarice was beating him at everything and yeah. yeah yeah pretty much I mean I I can't help but agree so and uh I was gonna bring up dude oh, no. did I forget what I think I forgot what I was gonna say man that sucks it was about Percy I just don't remember what it was it was uh, along the lines of like Annabeth, Clarice, and Percy. I just don't remember what it was, man. I don't know. Dang, that sucks. That's okay though. But uh, um, let's talk about Grover, if that's okay. Oh my gosh, Grover! It saddened me. Grover is barely in this movie, besides right at the beginning, right at the end. That's okay though. He still had some funny lines in there, but yeah, he was just barely in the movie. Yeah. Falling over girls like he typically did in the last one. That's about it. Yeah. I actually thought he was going to die at the end. And, you know, spoiler alert, you know. Obviously, you guys probably watched this movie before we start talking about it. But if you just want to hear our little summary, that's fine. But whenever Luke summons Kranos or Kanos? Yeah, Kano. something like that. Yeah, what, the, the giant demon, okay? And he just freaking monches on Grover. Because doesn't he pick up Grover and eat him? Yes. I thought Grover was gone. I was like, dude, that was that was fast. Yeah. Grover's dead. And I was just so sad because I'm like, like, why is it always the good guys that gotta be eaten and, you know, freaking die? Like, that was so sad. Turns out that Grover actually didn't die. And, and he ends up coming around. Oh, Chiron? Is it? Is that how you say the the Kranos thing? Oh uh, yeah, I think. Oh, Chiron, Kranos. I I remember. That's kind of weird, but, anyways, I just gotta say every single time I read Brandon T, I read Booker T, and then like for a split second, my brain wants to think that's Booker T, but it's not. All right, to get on to the next person, Clarice. We kind of already touched on Clarice, but we might as well touch a little bit more. Yeah, um, I don't like her. Clarice was annoying. She was that B word throughout the film. She was always right. It was always her. She was on top. Blah 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 blah. Sucky character. Yeah, she. I don't think she was even needed in the movie. There was no reason to have her. She was just an added character for drama. Yeah, um, I agree. At first, it was almost played off that, you know, Annabeth and Clarice were going to have this, like, feud. Yeah. And it made it really awkward whenever they essentially didn't even have any feuds. Yeah. Like, I thought that they were really going to be fighting over Percy, and it turns out that, like, they were really just, like, nobody was... She was trying to fight to be this next... Percy, pretty much, you know, this next hero, yeah. and it turns out that they were pretty much all heroes, but that, you know, Percy's pretty much, it is Kronos, you're right, uh, so that's the voice for it, he's like, rah, 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 Kronos, so it was Kronos, okay, well, I hope I didn't say it wrong, remember? I said, I think I said Kronos, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, Clarice, pretty much, oh, dude, okay, I know that they're probably not going to show up, other than maybe voices. They'll probably have, like... Who? No, they don't. It's okay. Hold on. Let me explain. So, the the freaking zombies, dude. Oh, yeah. They were so cool. Uh, they were these zombies on the ship that they were on. And they were so, like, happy. And, like, they were under, like, Clarice's, like, word and everything. And it was just so wholesome to watch. Because, like... The, the the zombies pretty much just, like, followed everything that she said and was just, like, calling her captain and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was just... They were so kind. And, uh... I don't know why. They just made me happy. That was, like, a good break uh, of happiness for a second, you know? Yeah. It made me um, really enjoy... I guess Clarice's connections with the dead. <laughs> like, I don't know. It really, like... It made her even edgier, I, could, I guess. Yeah. So, but uh, Luke Cast... 
Okay, well, we don't Luke. say his last name, but it's Luke. Okay. So, Luke. Um, how do we, how do we explain? He's, he's pretty much, like, he was, like, likable and then unlikable in the first movie. Now, here in the second movie, he's just unlikable through the entire thing. Yeah, he was, again, the bad guy going after the fleece as well as, you know, the Olympians going after the fleece, whatever. Because the Olympians went after the fleece to save the tree. Because Luke destroyed the force field tree that Talia died under, essentially. And her memorial was made into the tree border. But, um... Yes, essentially Luke destroyed it in the beginning, and so the Olympians went after the fleece, and so was Luke, because he wanted to reincarnate Kronos, the bad guy, to destroy Olympus again. So, yeah, that's pretty much a, a fast summary on Luke still being an asshole. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to bring up, man, do you remember that bull in the beginning? Whenever the yes. force field broke, yeah. that was cool. That thing looked awesome. The yeah. Sounds are made and everything, and like the fact it was like made out of like gears and stuff. Like that was awesome. Like yeah. watching that was so dope. And then the fight was like, um, it was pretty good. Uh, didn't Percy end yes. up killing it? Yeah, but I think that Clarice went to kill it. And then she failed? Yeah, Clarice failed. Yeah, but it, one thing that really bothered me about that fight was that Percy really didn't get that much, like, like people didn't really give him the gratitude, or is it the gratitude? Um, the uh, applaud? Yeah. Applause? I don't know. Pretty much nobody gave him props for this, right? He never got props for, like, killing this bull. They kind of just like, oh, no, we hope. The tree, the force field, it's gone. Yeah, and then Percy's coming back all beaten up after freaking killing this bull that's, you know, that would have killed three everyone ton. in there. Yeah, and I was like, dude, like, everybody's just going to ignore that? Like, it just bothered me a little bit because I'm like, Percy really went off and... Nobody, nobody has respect for him. I'm like, come on, man. Like, he just coming back. Like, yeah, man, I just killed this thing. I, I, I'm, I, I'm glad you guys are all okay. You know, <laughs> hey, just continue living your lives. You know, I'll, I'll just be here to save you guys because you guys clearly don't uh, care about me anymore. I'm just this one dude who pretty much saved the world. And nobody cares anymore. Nobody cares, and I, I feel like I, it's time for me to just continue on my with my life and you know i might as well just become a normal guy at this point yeah that's probably what percy was thinking probably i could see it <laughs> yeah i don't know and tyson tyson the cyclops <sighs> he was a really fun character he was nice he was sweet he was never the bad guy i mean everyone did hate him at first because obviously percy did not want a brother Tyson really wanted a brother, so... You know, their relationship grew throughout the movie and everything. Yeah, Grover really had nothing to say about him. Percy, honestly, Percy was... Um, he didn't know how to feel about him in the beginning, because he was, like, he didn't really want... A, he didn't really believe he was, like, a, you know, his brother. Until, like, he started, like, started showing, like, signs and stuff like that, that he actually was. Yeah. And, um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, it was quite interesting to watch, um, you know how they pretty much connected and stuff like that, and how Percy, over time, like realized that all he all he ever wanted was a brother. So having Tyson was like it was one of those situations where like you you don't realize what you have until it's gone because right. he thought that he lost his brother yeah. but it turns out like later on he didn't and um annabeth man oh my god man if i was clarice i would have i would have went off on her i would have freaking tried to like i would have tried to like kill her man For what? i just don't like her oh my god sorry <laughs> I, he's the, being dramatic I'm, listen <laughs> listen man she was just so rude to him she really was. Like, I would have been like, if I was Percy, I'd be like, dude, 
you need to leave her alone or get off this mission. Like, you can go back home. Like, me and Tyson will figure this out. I don't need you in my life. Get out of here. Like, you, like if you came into my house every single day and dissed on my dogs and, like... I do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of... Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, because, like, you were eating this morning, and, uh, which it's still kind of the morning, but we decided to get food before we would start, and, uh... You were just like, you gave me this like disgusting look. And then you were like, I was like, what's wrong? And you're like, Ruger. And I was like, oh no, he smells. And you like nodded your head. And I'm like, Ruger, come here, buddy. And when I got him away from you. But you know what? He does stink. It's okay. But like, if you came into the house and you were just like, I hate your brother. He does nothing wrong, but I hate him because of his long hair or something like that. Uh. You know? And I'd be like, dude, what? what is wrong like yeah. you know because like i don't know i just really got something against annabeth for no reason i'm really sorry you guys god dang maybe i'm the bad person for hating her you are i am why i don't know dang. she is not that bad uh, yeah you're maybe you're right maybe she's not that bad but i think she's that bad man she is pretty bad I don't know. She's just the way she treated Tyson. I don't. I don't have any respect for her. You know, I don't. If I was Clarice, I'd I'd beat her up, man. I'd go swords blazing. You know. I mean, yeah, it's fair. Yeah, I mean, like if anything, I think Percy's better off with Clarice. You know. No. I mean, Clarice is no. like edgy. I don't know. He he's kind of edgy. Clarice is not edgy. She's a B word. Well, she's yeah, she's definitely a B word. But maybe maybe Percy just he should just get with Tyla at this point. Tyla. Talia. Talia. Yeah. No, Talia gives me weird vibes. Well, maybe Percy should just. I think he should just stay single at this yeah. point because Annabeth's no good for him. She doesn't. She's gonna have that deep down hate for Tyson forever. You don't think so? No, because Talia's alive now. Yeah, but it so took Talia you know. to be alive in order for her to pretty much stop no, hating Tyson. No, 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 She didn't. She's just, <laughs> she stopped hating him before that. That's true. You're right. Cause before didn't Talia. He save, didn't he save yes, Percy? Yes, he saved Percy and then it really clicked in her head that she, he was a good guy. So, no. Annabeth is fine. All the characters are fine. <gasps> My ball ripped. Oh, no. Elaine's... Your bra her bracelet blo broke. That is very unfortunate. It looked like it was about to tear. I was looking at it. Don't put it... No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, Tyson as a character. He was a clumsy guy. He was a good guy. Very cool nice guy but yeah i don't know tyson was um there's no reason to hate tyson other than if you just didn't like cyclopses you know annabeth so what all right we will <laughs> yeah i i really don't like the fact that they really left everything with a cliffhanger the cliffhanger at the end because they kind of they were leading on to like a third movie almost because yeah, the, I think that's what they were planning on a third movie, but apparently it didn't get good enough hype or something, so they never did a third movie. Yeah, apparently the movie had failed. IMDb gave it a 5.8 out of 10. That's the only one that I trust, though. I I can trust IMDb. Rotten Tomatoes can go screw off. Metacritic's also can go screw off. I don't off. know about that is. <laughs> um, they pretty much rate movies. They're like, they're essentially like the biggest ones that do it. But Rotten Tomatoes have given, like, the most absurd reviews before. To the point that, like, some of my ma some of my favorite movies, they give, like, 17%. Oh, what the heck? And I'm like, dude, like, these are genuinely good movies. And uh, IMDb, I believe, is based off of, like, the public's review. Uh, as well as probably some IMDb, like, official reviews but i believe that it's mostly the people you know rotten tomatoes is just stupid metacritic i don't even look at metacritic but i i just gotta go and rant off at freaking rotten tomatoes for ruining movies uh in the in the sense of reviews 
You know? If you're trusting Rotten Tomatoes in order to find a good movie, you might as well look other like in other places. You're better off to ask a homeless man down the road, you know? He's going to have better movies than Rotten Tomatoes will. But, anyways, I think we're just going to wrap this one up. Uh... I would have loved to see it. I would still love to see a third movie. Yes. Uh, I would not be opposed to that at all. Yeah, um, I wish they made a third one. There, everybody's. I mean, other than, I mean, to be honest, I think everybody's still alive, for the most part. Um, that everyone sh- besides Luke. Luke's, Luke's dead. Yeah. Luke in real he- life. Oh, no! But he died in the movie, so he won't be in the third one. How did he die? I don't remember. How did he die in the movie? Yeah. Oh, um, he got thrown when Kronos died or whatever. He got thrown, and he ended up landing landing in the Cyclops dome thing. Now, the thing is, is like he could technically survive, but I think it sh- it showed the Cyclops eating him. I think he did. Yeah. I think he did get eaten. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a good chance that Luke is probably dead. Um, but that's okay. Um, but they could always pull that one thing where Luke has a brother. You know right. what I'm saying? They could do that. They could also make the orc the, the enemy, but then that's a lot of money for animation. There's no point in doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they don't want to waste their money on that. So, I'm thinking, if Luke had a brother, third movie, um, they would also have to go off of the books. Because, if not, it won't want a piece to the fans. So, whatever the next book would be, would be the next movie, essentially. And, I believe that would be... Well... I don't necessarily know because I didn't read the books, (laughs) but um, yeah, I think that they could technically make a third movie based on the third book if there is a third book even. Yeah. Um, And uh, are we gonna ask real quick? Mm Mhm. Okay. Um, We're just gonna look it up real quick to find out if there is a third movie. Books. And uh, and or a book. That's what I'm sorry. Uh, Okay. So, okay, so what they end up doing was they went from The Lightning Thief, which was the first one, they skipped The Last Olympian. Yes. And then they went to The Sea of Monsters. Right? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, 2006, that one was 2005. So, they, it's just. That one's 2009. Mm. So, technically. The next one in line, okay, that one's 2007, so, okay, so the next one would be the Titan's Curse, technically, right? Yeah, after the Sea of Monsters. Yeah, so, uh, the next one that they would have to do would be the Titan's Curse, and there's so many books that it would honestly be very hard to do all of them. Oh, yeah, that's impossible. There's, okay, well, there's a lot of books. There's a lot. I'm thinking... If they would, if they did make a third movie, that it would probably be um, really exciting because, to be honest, the movie did not do. But both of the movies didn't do very well whenever they first got released. But you know, later on in time, people started to really appreciate it, and now all of a sudden, everybody wants it. Everybody, everybody loves this, and um, very sad. Yeah, there you go, right there. So there's five. There's five Olympian books, uh, Percy Jackson books, so technically they could do it. They really could, if they yeah. wanted to. But, uh, man, really sad that they won't make a third movie. Like, But to be honest, um, at least they got two out. Lightning Thief was honestly, in my opinion, better. I don't know about you, but I think it was better. As far as, like, um... The colors, though, and that freaking monster stomach, that was beautiful. Yeah. I can't even lie. That gives it, like, a better rating, in my opinion. But, as I always ask you before we end up going, what would you rate this out of 10? Oh, shoot. 
Um, this movie, I give a seven. A seven, okay. I think that I gave Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, uh, it may have been an eight or a nine. Yeah, I gave that one a ten out of ten. I'm going to actually agree with you on the Sea of Monsters and give it a seven. All right. Yeah, I, I can agree with that, actually. And I'm just, honestly, most of all disappointed um, that they won't be making a third one. But it is what it is, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, that that's that's pretty much been it for uh, this this episode of the Bed In Podcast. Um, uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys want to leave mm-hmm. your uh, review or rating of the movie down below, that would be awesome. We always would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening today, and we hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye.